Environment sustainability is the need of the hour and electric vehicles or EVs are proposed as one of the promising technologies for achieving a sustainable transport sector in the future. But the big question is that if these electric vehicles are being powered from burning fossil fuels, are they really greener? So to debate about whether electric vehicles are eco-friendly or not, we have with us today two teams of youngsters, one of them in favor of electric vehicles and they call themselves evolutionaries and the others call Eco Debunkers United who believe EVs are not so green after all. I am Shivani and let's commence the debate in the edition of School of Thought. So I request team evolutionaries to open this debate. A UCS study from 2022 shows that an average gasoline fueled vehicle results in more global warming emissions than an EV. This trend is also confirmed by the analysis of data over the past 9 years. EVs may seem green, but it's not as it seems. The whole picture is yet to convene. Around 40 to 50 percent of the pollution already takes place before the EV even reaches the road. What are your points about that? Well, the EV, even though it uh, causes more pollution during production, it covers it up when it is being driven on the road. In only about two years, the EV can cover up all the pollution it caused in the production and get ahead of the uh, gasoline fueled vehicle. We have often heard the statement that EVs are the greener fuel. But I really want to focus on the word greener. EVs are surely more eco-friendly than traditional fuels. But are they truly environment friendly? Yes, they are because EVs produce only 2 metric tons of CO2 per year whilst uh, ICE produces more than 5.2 metric tons of CO2 per year. You consider that to be your counterpoint towards our, but you didn't consider the production cost and the emission of CO2 while the production. As I already explained to Kashvi, the production is covered up in lifetime use. In only 2 years, the EV comes up with more uh, with lesser global emissions than the ICE. So it doesn't matter because we have to look at the long term way. You are not going to buy a car in production and then just sell it off, you are going to use it. So we need to consider that stage as well. But and what about the recycling of the batteries? They consider more of a CO2 emission. The recycling of the batteries is in an ongoing research. Mm -hmm. We cannot actually just decide that we won't use EVs because it is not uh, up to the development it is today. We have different methods for that. First of all, we have manganese battery, which is an alternate and it is uh, already approved by IIT Kanpur. It, is in, it will be in use in some months. It is less toxic, affordable, as well as we use hydrothermal synthesis, which uses crystallization. In this, ethanol is used, which is reused as well as this. Too. But are, in, are they in use right now? Maybe in some months. Are you sure about yes, that? Yes, IIT Kanpur have already approved that. You are talking about the use of manganese batteries in uh, like as a substitute towards the cobalt and lithium ones yes. but what about the recycling or what about the batteries being damaged after like five or eight years well tesla tesla company they have also said that in their recycling procedure what they're trying to do is they're trying to use the old batteries to make the new ones hence they're trying to cut down the overall emissions that takes place during the production as well they are trying to cut it down by recycling but recycle emissions is more well uh, the technology, the correct technology and the feasible technology that we require to actually recycle those lithium ion batteries are, is still not there. If you consider this thing that the EV cars technology is still very infant as compared to the fossil fuel cars. So you cannot be comparing, you can't be cutting down it here that it is not 100% eco-friendly so we have to stop using EVs. You have to give them time so that they can develop. Also, one more point is that uh, reusing and recycling market is growing in the EV industry. Whereas, if you see the batteries, the small batteries used in ICEs are not recyclable, and in and almost ninety percent of it is is destroyed in the desulfurization process of ICEs. But so what about the use of coal? The, about the manufacturing of EVs? No, but I'm still talking about. You just put a point about related to the battery, but I'm. Uh, that's what I'm saying that if you're talking about the related to battery so in EVs there are still growing market related to recycling and reusing and some companies have already started using that Which process. companies? Some companies like Tesla, Tesla and Tesla, Mahindra, Mahindra are releasing new EV technologies a day by day for example 
uh, we can see that uh, Mahindra has been using the uh, Sardar Sarovar Dam hydropower plants in order to make their EV cars such as, uh, for example, Mahindra Thar electron, uh, electric vehicle and even Tata, their uh, blue smart cabs. Uh, have mm -hmm. been using uh, Tata ca uh, Tata cars that are Tiago EV. Uh, that they are consistently been making up uh, from hydropower plants. We are considering the point that they are coming up with new technologies for the EVs. But what about the use of coal again for the manufacturing of electricity? Well, As she said, that they are hundred percent eco friendly. It's not hundred percent. We never, we never, never said, said it. Never I never said it. Said it. But we never used the word hundred percent. Talk about the uh, pipelines and the uh, transportation methods that are used in petrol and the transportation of petrol and diesel. They are much more complex and complicated, and they are uh, using much more resources than what is used in EV. Also, the production of petroleum causes more than uh, one point nine billion gallons of wastewater come up in our fresh water resources per day in United States. And we can always talk about the oil spills that are happening during the transport of petrol. Uh, for example, in Indian Ocean, Bay of Bengal, uh, and the Arctic Ocean, more uh, many oil spills happen almost every day. The Gulf of Mexico suffered a similar spill, and more than two hundred ten million barrels of oil was spilled. To counter the point you had, according to a twenty eighteen International Council on Clean Transportation. Reports illustrate that the country in which batteries are produced, as well as battery composition, has much higher level of impact on emissions of carbon dioxide. So the the emissions of carbon dioxide that are being produced by the batteries are still less than the, what are being produced by the petrol and diesel that is being used in cars uh, and. Uh, uh, not only cars, we can see them in the armies uh, and uh, the other uh, parts of our uh, daily life. But what about the fact that CO2 emission is still on a similar rate if we compare? Because like the uh, factors that we are talking about, the ratio between the petrol cars and EV cars is not that much. If you want to talk about CO2 emissions, then first let's talk about United States, which already has a developed infrastructure if we consider about EVs. In United States, in more than 50 states, it is more favorable to use EVs than ICE and they are producing less CO2 emissions. In India, it is similar because India is still a developing country. We are still trying to switch to renewable energy. We are still trying to make our processes more eco-friendly instead of chasing profits. So we have to wait for that. If we stop funding EVs, this will never be achieved in India. You are proving it to be a greener one towards the petrol and the diesel cars. But yes, you are the idea of EV is greener than the ICE. Can uh, you say that ICE is greener than EV in principle? We are this not talking not about the a point of the debate basically. You have to prove that uh, the electronic vehicles are basically more eco-friendly. That's what we are trying that's to prove. Uh, and that's what we are counting for. No, that yeah. If you look at the total carbon emissions done by ICE, it is around uh, 4.6 metric ton in just one year. Whereas compared to EV, it is just 3.2 mm -hmm. in just in two years. So there is a whole gap of and one year. And you because it is reducing it, we can achieve our zero carbon emission. India exactly. has to show zero carbon emission in 2070. Just because it is greener, it doesn't mean that we can say that we can help in zero carbon emission success. Sir, 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 sir vehicles are only for zero carbon emission. There are also factories, industries, industries yeah. they also count them. Good point. But the thing is that we want to bring an alternative. बस क्योंकि वो कम अल्टरनेटिव क्या हो सकता है बस क्योंकि वो कम है इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि वो कर नहीं रहा है और इतना कर रहा है कि हम जीरो कार्बन एमिशन अचीव ना कर पाए आप मेरे को एक बात बताइए कि हमारे को ज्यादा वाले को फिर फेवर करना चाहिए कम वाले की जगह अगर वो कम कर रहे तो बेटर तो होएगा किसी सेंस आप ये मानते हैं कि अभी हम पूरी तरह से तो ईवी पे शिफ्ट नहीं कर सकते and it's not and it's not like it's up afford the curve EV like India and technology is increasing if we talk about the zero carbon emissions do you really think that petrol or diesel ke jo vehicles hai unse hum zero carbon emissions achieve kar sakte hain electric vehicle at least ek step hai jis pe hum uske us tak pahunch sakte hain but wo us extent tak expand hi nahi hua hai sir petrol and diesel vehicle se to zyada hi kar raha hai you have to wait for it to expand at least uski technology ko grow to karne do it's still an infant infant process मैं कह रहा हूँ आप कह रहे हो कि ग्रो तो करने दो बट 2070 तक हमें कार्बन एमिशन सर क्या आपको लगता है कि हम अगर हम ईवी वाहिकल्स को नहीं एक बढ़ावा देंगे तो क्या आपको लगता है कि हम उसके बिना पेट्रोल एंड डीजल और जो कंजर्वेटिव यूजेस हैं उससे हम जीरो कार्बन एमिशन रीच कर पाएंगे बिल्कुल भी नहीं बात बात वही खड़ी है आप क्या 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 क
मैं आपको एक और बात कहना चाहता हूँ आपने अभी ये कहा ना कि जो आई से वो ज्यादा पोल्यूशन कर रहा है और आप ही के वो पूछ रहे थे कि ग्रीनर कैसे तो आपने तो खुद ही बोल दी कि वो ग्रीनर कम पोल्यूशन करता है बिल्कुल है लेकिन बात आप पोल्यूशन कंसिडर कर रहे हैं इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ मूविंग कार्स ऑन रोड लाइफ टाइम अगर कंसिडर किया जाए तो उसकी कंपेरेटिवली पेट्रोल और डीजल एट द करेंट मूवमेंट कम कर रहे हैं आपके पास कौन सी स्टडी है प्रूव करने सोर्स है A new study by the Center of Economic Study (CES) in Munich proclaimed Germany's current energy mix and the amount of energy used in battery production, the carbon dioxide emissions of battery vehicles are in best case slightly higher than those of a diesel engine and are otherwise much higher than this. So in your study, you quoted battery production. So we are talking about lifetime now. So we cannot well, talk about battery. The electric but the battery production battery, counts battery. in lifetime, right? Yes. 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 Yes.
plums, removing parts of seed uh, removing the parts of seed beds also disturbs the benthic organisms and their habitat. You do realize that deep sea mining is already being used in order to take out other minerals that are being used in ice engine. It's already used in ice engine Good and now you are using EV batteries and EV batteries sir, also require EV batteries. You are using it in sir, ice engine. Sir, it's the only thing that EVs are going to be so that what is wrong is going to be right. You are going to be here. If you go there, you will not be able to avoid it. Sir, at least. But it's the only thing. So, if you are going to be able to get EVs, the basic concept of EVs was that the pollution is less. अब वो पोल्यूशन कम हो नहीं रहा है यहाँ पर बात यही नहीं है कि आप करें तो सही हम करें तो गलत यहाँ बात ये है क्या ईवी उस चीज को पोल्यूशन को घटा पा रहा है जो जो गलती है ना ये आप एक चीज देखिए सर आप एक चीज देखिए पेट्रोल व्हीकल्स आप डीप सी माइनिंग करके आपने कोई पर्टिकुलर मिनरल निकाला and then you are using it in a petrol vehicle, okay? So uh, this is just an example, okay? So when you use it in petrol vehicle, then first it used in petrol vehicle, then it used to be used to production a pollution relief. In the car, there was a different manufacturing in the car. Then transportation of petrol until the gas pumps and petrol pumps, there was a different pollution. Then the car, after you use it, the car is releasing a different pollution. फिर उसके मेंटेनेंस में अलग पोल्यूशन जा रहा है। एटलिस्ट जब इलेक्ट्रिक वाहिकल रोड पे चल रहा है, तो इट इज़ नॉट रिलीजिंग पोल्यूशन। एक जगह पे हमारा एक स्टेप में पोल्यूशन कम हो रहा है। बट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में कंपैरेटिवली डेज़रिंग if you calculate that. Manufacturing or disposing में batteries का same हो रहा है, like क्या difference है? मैं batteries की बात कर रहे हैं, हम only batteries की बात कर रहे हैं। आप और और aspects देखो ना। ये जो concept includes recycling of batteries, you have to wait for the technology to develop। आप ये थोड़ी कह सकते हो कि अभी battery नहीं हो रही तो EV बेकार है। ऐसे तो 1920s में या फिर 18 end of 1890s में जब petrol technology आई थी, तो भी लोगों को यही कह देना चाहिए था, why are you bringing petrol या petrol pollution increase करेगा? आप हाथ से चलाओ गाड़ी? नहीं बात उस जमाने में पोल्यूशन का डिस्कशन ही नहीं होता था वो रैपिड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन का समय था पोल्यूशन का डिस्कशन आज हो रहा है इसलिए ईवी को क्वेश्चन किया जा रहा है कि क्या वो एक अल्टरनेटिव है या नहीं देखो आप कह रहे हो कि रिसाइकलिंग में ज्यादा पोल्यूशन हो रहा है प्रोडक्शन में ज्यादा पोल्यूशन हो रहा है लेकिन हमारा चीज़ एक लाइफटाइम यूज़ है वही उसको काउंटर कर जा रहा है तो आप ये सोचिए ना कि जब पूरी टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप हो जाएगी तब कितना प्रॉफिट होएगा हमारे वर्ल्ड में। If we are talking about the electricity production, most of the sites where the lithium is found, the batteries are formed because it can't be carried to a longer distance or travelled by. So where the batteries are formed, most of the sites have the major production of electricity through water or coal. That's again like an mom in when we are producing. Electricity through water, the water is being recycled. It is not being uh, de depleted or exploited at that moment. And if we talk about coal, coal uh, thermal energy is being uh, slowly uh, depleted, and the thermal power plants are being slowly uh, replaced. 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 One more important thing that I would like to state that development of EVs, such as the charging stations and the expansion of mining activities for battery material, can result in habitat destruction and uh, cause destruction to the local people living there and local ecosystems as well. When you have made your car, then you also have to expand it. But you expand it because it's a good technology. How much effect on the local ecosystems is that matters. If you have a petrol ecosystem, you can stop the petrol and stop the petrol. You can stop the petrol and stop the petrol. That's not the point. The point we're discussing here is, are EV the better alternative? Yes. The only point that you are providing against is that battery or ecosystem सिस्टम खत्म हो रहा है आज़ेफ़ यू डिन डू इट व्हेन यू ब्रोट इन आईसी इंजीनियरिंग प्रॉब्लम्स बता रहे और ऐसी प्रॉब्लम बता रहे जो कि आपने खुद क्रिएट करी अगर आप ये चीजें नहीं करते मारे को पता नहीं होता कि माइनिंग एक्सपेंड करने से क्या जीरो कार्बन एमिशन का पॉइंट जो है कुछ ना होने से कुछ होना इस पार बेटर है राइट अन्ना भी आप साथ हो जाएगा अन्ना भी आप साथ हो जाएगा आज सही पर है कि 1890s में हमारे पास टाइम था अवेयरनेस नहीं थी सर आप 2070 तक आपको जीरो कार्बन एमिशन तक ला� so there is more than 47 years 
ठीक है फोर्टी सेवन मोर देन आई एम माई बैड इट इज फोर्टी सेवन ईयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ सो सर आपको नहीं लगता कि हमें थोड़ा सा टाइम देना चाहिए एटलीस्ट फाइव टू टेन ईयर्स टू ई कि वो थोड़ा इवोल्यूट करे थोड़ा और इंक्रीज करे अपने आप को टेक्नोलॉजी बेटर आए रिसाइकलिंग बेटर हो जिससे कि हम ई को एक्चुअली यूज कर सके क्या आपको लगता है उसे बस खत्म कर देने से दी एंड ऑफ एजेंडा आप कोई और टेक्नोलॉजी लाएंगे ऑलरेडी डेवलप टेक्नोलॉजी जो ऑलरेडी डेवलप हो चुकी है इज मच फार बेटर देन ब्रिंगिंग अ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी जिसे बनाने में ज्यादा टाइम लगेगा और एक और बात मैं इसके अंदर ऐड करना चाहूंगा कि अगर हम आइस को आईवी से नहीं बदलेंगे अगर हम पोल्यूशन अभी से स्लो करना नहीं शुरू करेंगे तो हमारा गोल तो वैसे भी नहीं अचीव हो जाएगा एंड सर एक और चीज जैसे आप बात कर रहे थे कि पेट्रोल और डीजल व्हीकल्स में इंप्रूवमेंट आ रहे हैं सर पेट्रोल और डीजल व्हीकल्स के जो इंजन आइस इंजन है दे आर ऑन द सैचुरेशन ऑफ इवोल्यूशन You cannot bring um, much more changes into them to decrease the pollution. You have to bring in new resources. EV is one of them. So uh, what uh, we feel is that EV should be given a chance to improve so that it can still uh, reduce the carbon emissions instead of just uh, scratching the old agenda because just because it is not fulfilling it right now at the present. We are not talking about taking it over like totally emitting the. EV vehicles on the roads or totally not giving a chance to them but we are talking about the fact that are we really in the process of innovations because if there is a innovation it can be true for the petrol or diesel car too ma'am no, which has a saturation of evolution and as sanchi stated that new battery technologies are being developed what is being done in ice to make it more eco friendly Well, hybrid modes were introduced for the so cars hybrid mode is hybrid mode is an ev the battery e20 initiative ethanol uh, ethanol 20 ethanol 20 is to reduce pollution it is not to erase it you still have the type of battery so ev se kya pollution completely so erase ho raha hai ethanol mein again ethanol mein dobara jab gaadi chal rahi hai to pollution release ho raha hai ev mein jab gaadi chal rahi hai to pollution release nahi ho raha hai देखा जाए तो हाइब्रिड आर देश सोल्यूशन अवेलेबल टू अस देन वाई डोंट वी जस्ट फोकस ऑन मोर देन हाइब्रिड डैन ऑन द ईवी सर हाइब्रिड में जो बैटरी यूज हो रही है बैटरी डाट इज बिन यूज इन हाइब्रिड इज स्टिल the same as the battery used in ev it's, it's just that battery, that battery and that just discard your point of lithium battery size it is of the same uh, uh, it is using the same emissions of co2 in production how does that even compare to the ev which is not even releasing pollution and one more thing abhi aapne khud state kiya ki aap ek alternative dhoond rahe hain and like he stated that you have to wait for it to grow at least give it some time so, and then again agar aap hybrid technology include, uh, you know introduce karenge fir ethanol production se karenge to still it will take more time and already ev काफी ज्यादा like almost is established ho chuka hai and we're just focusing on the main parts and agar aap usse time denge so it will bring out a greener more better alternative us no alternative methods zoom re magnesium uh, magnesium battery is one of the alternative and second alternative is nickel it's still not approved though abhi lekin iske bare mein kafi baat chal rahi hai it's still better than those petrol cars and uh, not just the pollution ev se hum cost effective ways mein nikal sakte hain for example jo ev uh, aap आज एक के टाइम पे अगर आप एक ईवी गाड़ी लेते हैं देन दी कॉस्ट दैट इज बीइंग यूज्ड टू रिफ्यूल द कार इज मच लेस देन रिफ्यूलिंग अ पेट्रोल कार फॉर एग्जांपल ईवी कवर्स अप द एक्स्ट्रा कॉस्ट ऑफ ईवी दैट दे आर एक्सपेंसिव देन पेट्रोल कार कवर्स अप इन जस्ट थ्री इयर्स ऑफ यूजिंग बिकॉज द पेट्रोल कार्स यूज द पेट्रोल दैट इज बींग एक्सपेंसिव ड्यू टू द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई बट अगर डिमांड एंड सप्लाई को कम करना है तो अगर उसके कंपेरेटिवली ईवी को जितना ज्यादा प्रोड्यूस करेंगे उसकी भी डिमांड बढ़ेगी एंड प्राइसिंग उस साइड उसके यूज में बढ़ जाएगी मैम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज इजियर टू प्रोड्यूस देन पेट्रोल एंड डीजल पेट्रोल एंड डीजल हम एनवायरमेंट से निकाल रहे हैं वो एक टाइम तक खत्म हो गया एक्सप्लॉयट होकर खत्म हो जाएगा हम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी uh, को यूज करने के इलेक्ट्रिसिटी को प्रोड्यूस करने के नए तरीके निकाल सकते फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोलर एनर्जी सोलर एनर्जी कभी खत्म नहीं कर सकते हो सकती इट इज इनफाइनाइट सोलर एनर्जी राजस्थान में इतने सारे पावर प्लांट है जैसलमेर में बाड़मेर में जोधपुर में जयपुर में दे आर मोर देन सफिशियंट विंड प्लांट इन राजस्थान राजस्थान अपना ऑलमोस्ट पूरा जो एनर्जी है इट कैन एम्पावर इट्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रॉम विंड एनर्जी बट इट इज नॉट एबल टू क्योंकि अभी वहां पर लोग एक्सेप्ट करने को तैयार नहीं है अब एग्जैक्टली मैं दोबारा वही पॉइंट रिपीट करूंगा अगर आप किसी एक टेक्नोलॉजी को इंप्रूव करने में टाइम नहीं दोगे या फिर आप किसी टेक्नोलॉजी को इंप्रूव करने का स्कोप नहीं दोगे इट विल नॉट बी पॉसिबल वी नीड द हेल्प ऑफ एवरीवन इन ऑर्डर टू 
reach a saturation state of every technology. We are not the only people that we are against or are countering against you all. There are people all around the world. There would be but some or the other fact about that. Right you now, have right? to convince are, them, right? You are representing are them right, right now. So we are trying to convince you. Exactly. We are, we are actually representing them, but you are not actually able to convince us. That's the reason. Oh, we are not considering the point that there are new alternatives for the production of electricity. But what about the like natural cutoffs? Mom, they are not new alternatives. They are already exactly. being used. Mm -hmm. They are not alternatives. And if you're talking about cutoffs, I would like to uh, introduce like, see, if you use solar energy, you can always store it. And that is uh, used whenever there is an uh, electricity cutoff or something like that. So it is already uh, implemented. But if we see Hamari country mein, all Hamari country or or bhi countries mein, itne zada cutoffs already hote hain. Kitne gaon hai jahan pe electricity nahi aati. To kya Hamare pas itni electricity hai ki hum EVs ke liye use karein? Mam exactly wohi point wohi point mein dobara bolunga jo mam kahi baar bol chuka hu. Time do time do kitta time do. To mam aap time de kahan rehe ho? Exactly. What about current situation? Sir, aap current technology jab laoge, to aapko usme bhi to time lagega. उसे डेवलप करना उसका पूरा प्रोसेस ग्रो गो थ्रू करना वाइल आप एक 2010 से आप फ्यूचर प्रोस्पेक्टिव पे देख रहे हैं वे आप प्रेजेंट प्रोस्पेक्टिव का देख रहे हैं प्रेजेंट रोल कर सकते हैं प्रेजेंट प्रोस्पेक्टिव पे हम देख लेते हैं नंदी का है वो हमारे को दिखा सकती है कि लाइफटाइम में ज्यादा किसके एमिशन है सिंपल मैथ्स यूज करेंगे हम और जो डेटा हमारे को हमने लिया है वैलिड सोर्सेस से उससे हम बता और वो यूनाइटेड नेशन हमारा पॉइंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पे था यस सो एग्जैक्टली अगर मैथमेटिकली हम शो पे जो प्रूफ हो जाएगा अगर ईवीस का प्रोडक्शन एमिशन इज 17 ओके टोटल एमिशन इज 2 एंड 10 इयर्स का अगर हम टाइम स्पैन लेंगे 2 into 10 20 plus हमें 17 करना होगा दैट विल बी 37 राइट एंड अगर आईसी आईस का ही ले हम देन अगर प्रोडक्शन एमिशन इज 7 ऑलराइट टोटल एमिशन इज 5.2 एंड 10 इयर्स का इसमें भी कंपेयर करें 5.2 into 10 दैट विल बी 52 plus 7 सब मैथमेटिकली कंपेयर करो एंड देन प्रूफ भी है ये कि कैसे कितना डिफरेंस आ रहा है इन दोनों में What do you have to say on that? If we talk about that, can we go again to the electricity point? Because I wanted to uh, counter the point of Anika about the solar energies. If we talk about storing the solar energy in batteries, then again there is use of metals. Uh, there But is actually a new technology which stores energy using potential energy against gravity that does not use batteries. And that is being introduced by IIT Madras. Okay, so now final comments from both the sides. First, I'll ask the eco debunkers to go ahead with their closing statements. So, like, तुम लोग का point था कि all time तो all time तो इससे emissions कम होंगे, ये होगा, वो होगा. But already इतना time ले चुके हैं. और अगर same चीज, अगर same scenario future में चलता रहा, तो क्या होगा फिर? Okay. So first. क्योंकि same emissions होते रहेंगे and same चीजें होती रहेंगी, उतना ही pollution होता रहेगा. So it's the same thing. Okay, so, so since we are concluding it, so we're just concluding statement saying that point we prove करके and then I will end it. Firstly, EVs 2010 में introduce हुए थे, so 13 was why, which is comparatively less. And कुछ भी new technology आ रही तो so it needs time. Okay, we are in the infant stage right now, and the topic was for going towards the greener environment, right? So greener environment, even you guys were supporting the fact. आपके ही मेंबर ने ये चीज बोला कि ईवीज आर बेटर ओके एंड यू गाइस वर कॉन्ट्राडिक्टिंग योरसेल्फ हर दो मिनट में जिससे हमारे पॉइंट्स प्रूव हो रहे थे ऑल राइट सो दिस प्रूव राइट कि ईवीज आर एक्चुअली द ग्रीनर ऑप्शन एंड अभी तक कोई और सोल्यूशन है नहीं एंड सिंस वी आर वर्किंग अपॉन इट तो अभी और टेक्नोलॉजीज आएंगे जो सारे इशूज है कोल एंड ऑल के वो भी रिप्लेस हो रहे हैं डे बाई डे जो बैटरीज का इशू है वो भी हो रहा है बिकॉज उसके है जो प्रूवन है साइंटिफिकली प्रूवन है कि वो अच्छे सोल्यूशन है सो दिस प्रूव की ईवीज आर अ गुड ऑप्शन एंड देन दिस इज हाउ इन Well, that was it. That was a profound discussion, but and I have to say that we clearly have a winner here. Mm -hmm. Evolutionaries have made their points really very clearly and put up their. I mean, they've just proved that EVs are the future and they're greener. So, in conclusion, I just say that electric vehicles are more efficient than fossil cars when it comes to emission of CO two while driving, and hence no air pollution. But what can't be ignored is its manufacturing process. But now I think we can't talk about it basically because they have already proved that part as well, giving the stats and everything. That manufacturing also, I mean, uh, is uh, it does not create so much of CO two emission as when it compared to diesel and petrol cars. So this was it. I had a great time, and I think you did too. I take your leave for today, but we'll be back with another burning topic in the next editions of School of Thought.